It's time to introduce the Varsity Scholars with their first time on the Elite Eight stage here at Studio 540, Chicago State. Hi, I'm Nicola Sanders. I'm a junior chemistry major from Chicago, Illinois. Hi, I'm Courtney Jenkins. I'm a sophomore psychology major from Chicago, Illinois. Hi, I'm Isaiah Samuel. I am a junior uh, with a pre-pharmacy concentration from Chicago, Illinois. All right, let's give it up to those scholars from Chicago State. And now, the Varsity Scholars from Alabama State University. Greetings, I'm Brian Womack, a senior accounting major from Alpharetta, Georgia. Uh, Amram Gaynor, year 2016, major in making moves, concentration in communication. And I'm from the upper, upper west side of Harlem, 125th Street. Mm -hmm. My name is Kyrian Netter. I'm an elementary education major, senior from, Al from Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And once again, our lady with the questions, Monita Bell. All right. We are in this third round of the Elite Eight. This is very exciting. Um, we've got Courtney for Chicago State in the face-off position there and Amram for Alabama State in the face-off position. So I want to get to know you just a little bit more than what you just told us. Amram, what's the single best piece of advice ever given to you by your mom, dad, or a mentor? My dad was a, a bit of a writer. He did poems. So he told me, when you're writing something, let close friends know before it gets put on the big stage. You know, that was... That was his close bit of advice to me. And why, why, why is that? Why let them know first? Because, you know, you want them to know. You don't want them to find out when he gets on TV and get, do it big, you know. You want, you want them to know hometown first <laughs> so then they're ahead of it. Like, yeah, I knew when Amram wrote that really good book, you know, or I knew when Brian did that really good accounting book for <laughs> J.P. Morgan Chase, you know. <laughs> okay, I got you. Know you. Ahead of time. Gotcha. And how about you, Courtney? Best piece of advice? Um, mine actually didn't come from anyone. It was actually a quote I read, and it said, a beautiful life does not just happen. It is made daily by prayer, sacrifice, humility, and love. May that beautiful life be yours always. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wise words. Words indeed. Okay, well, Alabama State won the toss. So that means Amram will be choosing from, since 2000, dual citizenship, note the spelling there, wheels of all kinds and loads of odes. Uh, since 2000. Launched in December 2005, what video sharing site jumped from 2 million to 25 million daily views by 2006? <laughs> Courtney. YouTube. Yes, it is YouTube, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Daniel Radcliffe was 12 years old when he debuted in 2001 as what title film character? Harry Potter. That's good for 10 points. One of just two franchises never to have played a World Series, what team, formerly the Expos, moved and was renamed in 2005? The Washington National. That's good for another 10. And Courtney, you're choosing Since now. 2000. Since 2000. In 2000, what four-foot-tall humanoid robot named for its advanced step and innovative mobility was unveiled by Honda? Amram. Asimo. Yes, Asimo. And here is your bonus for 10 points apiece. Over 22 million digits long, the 49th of what type of M prime number was discovered in 2016 by a massive array of computers? Million. I know, Mersenne Prime is what we're looking for there. Let's try the next one. In 2008, the world's smallest of what type of limbless animal was discovered? A critter of great concern to ophidiophobes. Spider? Snake was the answer there. Okay, Amram, it's your choice now. Um, dual citizenship. Dual citizenship. What sport developed as a non-lethal substitute for dueling after the Marquess of Queensbury endorsed rules for it? Amram. Fencing. No, can you take a Courtney? Boxing. Yes, boxing. And here's your bonus for five points apiece and a five-point bonus for all three. Which two great Russian rulers issued edicts against dueling in 1705 and 1785 but failed to stem the growth of the practice? Ivan the Great and Nicholas? Uh, it was Peter the Great and Catherine the Great. Good guesses. Let's try the next. Dueling proved fatal for the title character of Eugene Onyegin as it was for which Russian author of that verse novel? Boyskoyevsky. Uh, Alexander Pushkin. Okay. So no points on that bonus. But Courtney, your choice again. Since 2000. Yeah. Teams started competing for a $1 million prize on the 2001 debut of what Emmy-winning globetrotting CBS series? Courtney. Survivor. No, I'm wrong. Amazing Race. Yes, that's the one. And here's your bonus for 20 points after the first clue or after two for 10. Juba became the capital of what new country in 2011? South Sudan. 20 points. Good. I'm Ram. It's your choice now. Dual citizenship. Dual citizenship. K 
Canada's last known duel ended bloodlessly as the combatants' pistols were secretly loaded with what type of bullet-free cartridges? Amram. Links. Yes, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. In 1624, the Countess of Polignac lost part of an ear in a pistol duel between ladies over the attentions of which famed cardinal? Team, your answer? Pope Alexander. Uh, no, Armand Richelieu was the answer there. A French musketeer killed in a 1643 duel inspired which literary character? A friend to Aramis and Porthos and an enemy to Richelieu. D'Artagnan? Uh, no, Ethos was the answer there. Okay, Amram, your choice now? Dual citizenship. Dual citizenship. During his rise to power in Italy, in 1921, which fascist leader dueled with swords against a socialist newspaper editor? Amram. Mussolini. Yes, Benito Mussolini. Here's your bonus. First, as a student, which creator of Sancho Panza fled Spain for Italy in 1569 after wounding an opponent in a duel? Christopher yeah. Columbus? Uh, no, Miguel de Cervantes. Next part. A button deflecting the sword blade saved the life of which Baroque composer of water music, loser of a 1704 duel? Bach. Uh, no, George Handel. So no points on that bonus. Adam Rahm, your choice? Wheels of all kinds. Wheels of all kinds. Much mentioned in the Bible, what light, rapid, horse-drawn carts were likely invented even before man learned to actually ride horses? Courtney. Carriage. No, can you take an Amram? Oh, cargo. No, uh, we're looking for chariots there. Yeah. And that brings us to the end of round one. Close game here. We've got Alabama State with 60 and Chicago State with 40. And new players here in the face-off positions, Brian for Alabama State and Isaiah for Chicago State. So, um, Isaiah, what's the single best advice you've ever gotten from a, a parent or a mentor? Um, well, the most poignant advice I got was uh, from our coach, Dr. Alani Pukun Lyle, Lyle Sabikin. <laughs> we call him Dr. O. <laughs> um, he, told you that, he told me that you can't always expect to succeed in events like this. So while we're here, enjoy the moments that you have. You know, enjoy your nice blazer and blouse that you have on. Enjoy my beautiful competition. Enjoy the audience, everybody. <laughs> Clap for yourself. And, you know, just have fun with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Great advice, especially in this moment right here. And how about you, Brian? Okay, I got two. Um, I'm also going to shout out our coach, Dr. Hill, who told us to buy a good mattress. Um, but I'm going to say uh, shout out to my mom and dad in Alpharetta. Hey, mom and dad. Um, they told me to say positive through any situation. So hopefully I can use that to my advantage today. All right. Sounds like wise words. Definitely for this situation. And um, Isaiah, you will be choosing from these categories to get into round two. Military bases, say what? HBCUs making a difference and banks too big to fail. Say what? All right. <laughs> the symbol for what punctuation mark has been dubbed a huh, a hunchback, a quiz, and a what mark? Brian. Question mark. Yes, and here's your bonus. For uh, 20 points first or after the second clue for 10, which symbol is sometimes called the virgule, Latin for little rod? Exclamation point. No, let's try the next clue. Forward ones are used in web addresses and backwards Slash. ones in Windows file paths. Slash. Yes, that's good for 10 points. Okay, Brian, you're choosing now? Banks too big to fail. Banks too big to fail. What C completes the name of the top U.S. bank, number one on the G20 nation's list of banks, too big to fail, J.P. Morgan blank? Isaiah. Checks. Yes, that's the one. And here's your bonus for five points apiece and a five-point bonus for all three. Number two on that too big to fail bank list was HSBC. What two Chinese port cities account for the H and the S in HSBC? Hong Kong and Shanghai. Very good for 10. Despite its name, HSBC is based in what European capital, also home to Barclays? London. That's right. You got all 20 points. Good. Isaiah, your choice now. Banks too big to fail. Banks too big to fail. America's five biggest banks hold 44% of the assets of all 6,509 U.S. banks. What Carolina-based bank, with stock symbol BAC, is second largest? Brian. Bank of America. That is correct. And here is your bonus for 10 points apiece. First, what third largest U.S. bank, based in New York and with stock symbol C, is tied for third on the G20's list of banks too big to fail? City. City Bank. Yes. That's good for 10. What fourth largest that's U.S. Hard. bank, based in San Francisco and with stock symbol WFC, tied for 12th on the G20's watch list? Wells Fargo. All 20 points. Brian, you're in control now. Banks. Banks big to big fail. fail. 
Don't confuse USB and UBS. USB is U.S. Bank, headquartered in what M city on the Mississippi where Prince was born? Brian. Minneapolis. Correct. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. UBS, the world's second largest manager of private wealth assets, is headquartered in what Alpine Z city? Zagreb. I know, Zurich. Let's try the next one. In 2014, Amsterdam's ING Bank spun off ING US as a new financial company bearing what four-letter V name? Visa. Voya. And no points on that bonus. But Brian, you're still choosing here? HBCU is making a difference. Iyanla, meaning great mother, is the adopted name of which life counselor who fixed her own life by attending Medgar Evers College? Isaiah. Van Zandt. Yes, Iyanla Van Zandt. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. First, after graduating from Medgar Evers, Iyanla attended what Richmond HBCU of L. Douglas Wilder and Jeremiah Wright? Hampton. I know Virginia Union is what we're looking for there. Virginia Union magna cum laude graduate Rosalind Brock is chair of the board of what civil rights organization founded in 1909? NAACP. That's good for 10 on the bonus. And Isaiah, your choice now. Um, gonna pick say one. what? Okay, say what. <laughs> Informally called 007 and grapes in ASCII usage, what ratio symbol was once written in the form of a fraction? Isaiah. Are the percent sign? Yes. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Squiggle, twiddle, and twaddle are alternate names for what curvy line often seen over letters in Portuguese and Spanish? Accent. No, a tilde. Okay. Yeah, okay. Approximation. Ergo, seek. In typesetting, a bolder version of the keyboard tilde stands for which of these? Mm. Your Approximation? Yes, that's good for 10 on the bonus. Isaiah, you're in control here. Close game. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> a common moniker for the asterisk is what five-letter S word suggestive of a squashed bug? Isaiah. No answer. Can you take it, Brian? Smash. Ah, splat. Okay, let's try to get another one in here. What's your choice, Isaiah? Military bases. Military bases. The Navy's Atlantic <laughs> Undersea Test and Evaluation Center is in what state where that base is in West Palm Beach? Isaiah. Florida. Yes, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. More than 1,000 miles from an ocean, the Naval Station Great Lakes is on which only Great Lake that shares its name with a state? Michigan. That's good for 10 points. What state's military bases include Vandenberg Air Force Base, Camp Pendleton, and a Marine Logistics Center at Barstow? Uh, Virginia, Team, your answer? Virginia. No, the state we're in, California. And that brings us into the, ooh, bring us to the end of round two. Ten-point game right now. Chicago State 130, Alabama State 120. Let's give a hand clap. All right, this is exciting as we get into the final face-off round. We've got new players here, uh, Nicolette for Chicago State and Kyrian for Alabama State. Um, Nicolette, tell us, what is some of the soundest, most wise piece of advice you've received from a parent or a mentor? My mom always tells me to laugh every day, keeps the day going, it makes people around you want to be around you, and, and it just keeps you happy. Okay, yeah. I agree with that, absolutely. <laughs> and Kyrian, how about you? Well, my mom always told me, don't be afraid to be different. Mm -hmm. So that's the best piece of advice I've had. And it will definitely serve you well. Good. Well, Alabama State, you're down by 10 right now. And uh, Kyrian, you'll be choosing from Where Am I? Also that year, 1968. Surprise cameos and number theory. 1968. Okay. In 1968, Dwayne Jones became the first black man to star in a horror movie. What ground groundbreaking film, Night of the Blank Blank? Nicolette. Black Knight. Uh, no, can you take it, carry on? Walking Dead. The Living, Living Dead. Dead. Okay. Let's try another one. Carry on. Angela Bassett and Lupita Nyong'o are alumni of which Ivy League school in Connecticut that agreed to go co-educational in 1968? Nicolette. Yeah. Yes, Yale University. Here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. At the 1968 Republican National Convention, Spiro Agnew was nominated for vice president, while who was selected for president? Team, Johnson. your answer? Johnson. Uh, no, Richard Nixon is the answer there. Let's try the next one. At that year's Democratic National Convention, Edmund Muskie was nominated for vice president, while who was selected for president? Yeah, okay. say Johnson, yeah. Johnson. Yeah. Uh, Johnson? No, that's Hubert Humphrey, but I like the technique. All right, Nicolette, your choice. Surprise cameos. Who played the alien agent M without makeup in Men in Black 2, a cameo that gave him a personal thriller? 
Nicolette. Michael Jackson. Yes, that's right. Michael Jackson, here's your bonus. In A Million Ways to Die in the West, which host of HBO's Real Time finished some stand-up before the community dance? Bill Maher. Bill Maher, yes. Before the credits rolled in A Million Ways to Die in the West, a racist carnival attraction is shot by which star of Django Unchained? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. That's good for all 20. All right, Nicolette, your choice now. Surprise cameos. After a rendition of In the Air Tonight, which boxer gives the hangover trio an hour to return his tiger? Nicolette. Tyson. Yes, Mike Tyson. Here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. First, in Jay and Silent Bob yeah, Strike Back, imagine. Jay and Bob try to beat up which two co-stars of Goodwill Hunting to stop them from making a sequel? Affleck and Damon. Yes, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, all 20. All right, we're at 200, 120 now. Nicolette. Surprise cameos. Surprise cameos. Which black astrophysicist appeared as himself in a 2010 episode of The Big Bang Theory? Karyon. Tyson. Yes, you're in there. Here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Which co-creator of Spider-Man and the Hulk has numerous cameos in films based on the Marvel heroes he helped create? Lee. Yes, Stan Lee is right. Which real-life activist named Erin plays Julia, a waitress, in the movie that garnered Julia Roberts an Oscar playing her? Brockovich. Yes, Erin Brockovich. Karen, your choice now? 68. 1968. Pierre Trudeau was first elected as prime minister of what Western Hemisphere nation in 1968? Nicolette. Canada. That's right, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Both the Tet Offensive and the My Lai Massacre occurred in 1968 during what international conflict? Vietnam War? Yes, that's good for 10 okay. points. For his sacrifice in Vietnam, James Anderson posthumously became the first black Marine awarded what highest U.S. military decoration? Congressional Medal of Honor. All 20 points. And Nicolette, you're in control now. Where am I? Where am I? I'm admiring the scenery, but still no sign of any monster at what most famous lake in the Scottish Highlands? Nicolette. Loch Ness. That's correct. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. First, the viewing deck I'm standing on opened in 2013 in the Shard, a glass-covered skyscraper overlooking what European capital? Paris. Uh, London is the answer on that one. Let's go for the next one. What country's Cologne Cathedral is among its most visited landmarks? Your answer, Tim? Germany. Yes, Germany. Germany. Pretend there. Where am I? Where am I? Berlin, Rome, Venice. Which city am I in if I'm standing on the Rialto Bridge over the Grand Canal? Nicolette? Venice. Yes, Venice. Here's your bonus for 20 and then 10 points. If I'm on the observation deck of the Western Hemisphere's, hemisphere's tallest freestanding structure, in what city am I? Chicago. I know. The, let's try the next one. That building is the CN Tower overlooking Lake Ontario. Uh, Team, your answer? Space Needle. Toronto. Toronto. So you got no points on that bonus. That brings us to the end of round three, Chicago 260, Alabama State 150. All right, Alabama State, you're behind by 110 right now, so you need five answers to take the lead. And you'll be choosing from these categories, just five letters, standing for something, measure up, and on the waterfront. Standing for something. Standing for something. Here we go. For the given field, what does each abbreviation stand for? In cooking, TB. Tablespoon. Yes. Photography, SLR. Pass. Shh, no. Biology, ATP. Dino triphosphate. And no. civil rights, SLR. Southern Poverty Law Center. Yes. Genetics, PCR. Pinet Square? No. Accounting, LIFO. Last in, first out. Yes. Coin collecting, OBV. Observation. No. Geography, long. Longitude. Lo Longitude. Yes. <laughs> Public health, CDC. Center for Disease Control. Yes. Travel, ETA. Estimated time, time of arrival. arrival. Yes. Photography, SLR. Shadow light ratio? No. Biology, ATP. Adenine triphosphate. Judge. Um, no. Genetics, PCR. Pass. 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 Okay, no. Coin collecting, ob. Observation. No. Photography, SL. Shuttle. Say it again? Shuttler. Uh, no. Uh, biology, A. Pass. No. Pass. Gen no. Pass. Co no. Shuttle. Sh 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 it Not wasn't. <laughs> Well, you got 150 points. That brings you up to 300, and you're now leading by 40. Let's take a look at the ones you missed. Okay, photography, SLR. Single lens reflex, yes. About your ATP. Active transport. What? Adenosine triphosphate. Somebody said it second, but then you said it differently the next time. Um, genetics, PCR. All these lovely nerds back here. I love it. Polymerase chain reaction. 
and coin collecting of Obverse, oh, yes. Oh God. All right, you're leading by 40 now. And now, Chicago State, it is your turn. You need two answers to win. Uh, what's your choice? Just five letters. Just five letters. Here we go. What word or name spelled with exactly five letters is? A black and white stripe. Zebra. Yes. The surname of Etta. James. And, yes. A stripe, a strip of dry. Jerky. Yes. A resin plus hardener adhesive. Pass. Ooh. No. Uh, Closest kin to the cuttlefish. Octopus. No. <laughs> a shade of purple lighter than lilac. Pass. Pass. No. The capital of Ecuador. Quito. Yes. A Scandinavian inlet. Pass. Pass. No. Track star with nine Olympic golds. Carl. Lewis. Yes. Picture element shortened. Pass. No. A resin plus hardener adhesive. Caulk. No. Closest kin to the cuttlefish. Clown. No. A shade of purple lighter than lilac. Pass. No. A Scandinavian inlet. Pass. No. Picture element. Pass. No. A resin plus hardener adhesive. Pass. No. Closest kin to the cuttlefish. Shark. No. Mauve. Yes. <laughs> A Scandinavian inlet. No. Okay, you got what you needed to do. You won. Congratulations. You're moving on to the next level here. All right, so for a little audience interaction here, let's see. Anybody know a resin plus hardener adhesive? Epoxy, yes. Closest kin to the scuttle, uh, cuttle. Squid. Squid. You said octopus. You were in the family. A Scandinavian inlet. Fjord. Fjord. And a picture element shortened. Pixel. Pixel. But you did anyway. Congratulations to Chicago State, 14300.